So one issue that uh, can be challenging, particularly for taller people that have uh, extensive leg length, they have long femurs, and the longer the femur, the more shearing forces there are, is going to be on the knee. And that's not to excuse uh, a tall person from learning how to squat properly. We all have advantages and disadvantages depending on your body structure. However, it's something that a taller person may have to deal with more than someone that is more short and stocky. And what will often occur here is as they start squatting down, whether it's overhead or just a, a regular front squat or back squat, is because of tight ankles, the heels will start drifting up and the weight will shift forward onto the knee. And then if you continue to squat, you'll start stressing the patella ligament under the kneecap. And that's why in the gym, sometimes you hear don't squat below 90. If you don't squat below 90, you're never going to injure your knee, but you're never going to get strong either. So you have to learn to squat below 90 with proper form. So if this is happening, there's a couple things that we can do. You see that the heels drip, the heels raising because I don't have the flexibility in the ankle. So one simple drill is just to elevate the heels slightly. You can use a weight plate. And that elevation of the heel will take a little stress off the hips and it'll take some stress off the ankle and it'll enable you to go down deeply without straining the knee. Okay? So that's one way to do that. The other thing is you want to mobilize the ankle. Now, a common drill is to just lean against a wall and stretch, but you're only mobilizing the rear side of the ankle, which is the plantar flexion. We want to also mobilize, or excuse me, which is dorsiflexion. We also want to mobilize into plantar flexion, which is this ankle. So we want to get the front and the rear side of the ankle. So there's a very good drill you can do here. And you would do this again for pretty high reps, maybe 15 reps or more. You would take a lunge position, put your hands on the ground, and then the rear foot will be stretching. If you think of the verbiage, laces down, heels back, you'll be able to get it. So as you push up, you drive your heel back, and as you shift forward onto your front leg, you push your laces down. So laces into the ground, heels back, laces down, heels back, and back and forth. Laces down, heels back. And this is a dynamic stretch. So you want to work quickly but in control. Okay. And that's going to, of course, you do this to both sides. That's going to really loosen the ankle. And then when you come down into the squat, you should be able to get much deeper without your weight shifting forward.